another edition of TCM Graduate TV. I'm Kenton Seps, a registered acupuncturist. This is episode 49 on this sunny day. And today is a twofer. We're going to do spleen three and spleen four, both next heavy hitters on the spleen channel. And the reason why I like to mention these together is because I use them in clinic together for plantar fasciitis. Similarly to extra lower extremity five or Xi Yan, I like to use an inch and a half needle. And I like to use it because I'm going to thread spleen three and spleen four widthways across the sole of the foot. And this helps relax the tendons, the fascia, and it gets me a really great result. I'll usually work the patient up to it, however, and there's definitely no twisting as I put the needle in because I don't want to wrap any fibers around the muscle because I don't want to cause any more sensation than they're already going to get. So spleen three and spleen four are absolutely amazing for pain in the arch of the foot, especially plantar fasciitis. And we definitely have to mention spleen three and spleen four separately because they are amazing on their own. So spleen three is the earth point on the earth channel, which means that it's going to do tonification. So it's great for spleen chi deficiency. We can also mention stomach 40 in the mix because spleen three is a stream and source and stomach 40 is a connecting. The reason this is important is this is a very classic example, if you will, of host and guest. So stream source is going to be the host and this case the connecting on this channel is going to be the guest. And how this works is you find the source point on one channel and then the interior exterior related pair, you find the connecting. And we can take the excess from spleen and we can transfer it to its interior exterior related pair here, stomach. So if you have too much spleen stuff, doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter if it's chi or dampness or whatever, you're kind of diagnosed. What you can do is you can take it from the spleen via the host and you can give it to the guest. So if there's too much of one, you can give it to the guest. The other thing we can do is if the stomach needs bolstering, if we feel that the stomach needs more chi and blood, whether it's in the channel, the organ, doesn't matter. And we can tell the host to give an, a little bit more bolster up the stomach. So it's definitely a balancing act. And these are, this is a really great combination uh, to use in clinic if you find either one of those scenarios. Moving along to spleen four, spleen four, of course, opens up Chong. And how spleen four opens up Chong is we need its confluent pair, PC6, which opens up Yin Wei. When I needle confluent pairs, I don't take into account whether somebody's female or male and I'm supposed to needle the left hand and then the right foot. My brain is definitely not big enough for that. So what I do is I just do everything bilaterally and I've never had a problem. How this works is that we need one to open up the other one and we need the other one to open up the, the one. So they're kind of like a lock and key. We both need a lock and we need a key. And so definitely we have to needle both of them if we want to open Yin Wei or we want to open up Chong. And this is a classic pair for morning sickness. And when I talked about PC6 many videos back, when I was talking about the four, six key command points, PC6, is a very good acupuncture point because it's going to open up the chest and resolve phlegm. But when we use it with spleen four, the mechanism is going to help with the Chong channel not dragging up its neighboring channel, the stomach. Uh, it's not getting the stomach chi to come up with it. And if you recall, uh, menstrual blood comes up the Chong channel, which is borrows kidney acupuncture points to do so to take that blood to the breast area to create breast milk. 
And this is our mechanism in Chinese medicine of how breast milk is created. However, as it's borrowing the, the kidney channel and it's coming up the kidney channel, the stomach is neighboring to it and the stomach chi is supposed to go down. So what it does is it causes rebellious stomach chi. It's coming up and it looks over at the stomach channel and says, hey, I'm coming up. And the stomach channel says, hey, where are you going? I'm going to come with you. And, and, and it starts to rise. And that's the mechanism. So not only great for morning sickness, but I have successfully used a PC6 spleen for a combo for any kind of like rebellious stomach chi symptoms. So it's phenomenal for that. So there you go. Spleen 3 and Spleen 4 used together for plantar fasciitis. Spleen 3 on its own. Tonify Spleen Chi. Great acupuncture point if we have somebody who's pregnant and we can't use Spleen 6. We've got the Spleen 3 Stomach 40 combo. Host and guest. Really great. And then of course Spleen 4. It opens up the Chong channel but you gotta put PC6 in to help it do so. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Just want to remind you that safety is king. Bedside matters king. And results are king in that order. We'll see you on the next one.